Hi there, my name's John Scott, I'm an independent filmmaker, and welcome to this video review of the Blindspot Gear Scorpion version 2 light. Now, as the name version 2 suggests, this is the second incarnation of the Scorpion light, and what they've done with this second version is really look to improve upon the light. They've made it slightly smaller, lighter, and boosted the output so it's now a brighter light. It's even been used on Hollywood productions, Netflix series Altered Carbon, and in films like Train Spotting 2. So the light clearly has filmmaking pedigree, and I've been fortunate enough to get my hands on them and have a play with them for the last week or so. Now the light itself is a single LED source, and it actually produces a very hard light. Now, usually LED panels produce fairly softish, flattering light, but this light is slightly different. And actually, the benefit of that is it's a very controllable beam of light. It has a very narrow spread, only about 25 to 30 degrees, and you have barn doors on the light as well, which allows you to further shape and control that light. This type of light, being the size it is with the single bulb, benefits from being that hard source, and it also allows you to create fantastic texture, add interest to scenes with that hard source. The light is really built around the clamp that comes with it, and this clamp is a heavy duty clamp, but at the same time, it's reasonably lightweight and it'll pretty much fit around anything. So table legs, chairs, tripods, I've even had it rigged up around ceiling lights. Um, it really is a flexible attachment. And then you will also have a quarter 20 thread on the bottom of the light stand as well, so you can use traditional light stands to mount the light. And the benefit of this light being so small and lightweight is that you can pretty much put it anywhere. Um, and I've actually got a couple rigged up in the ceiling behind me now, just acting as kicker lights, giving me a little bit of a, a rim light, a little bit of texture um, to the background and to myself. Now, I've actually been using the Scorpions in conjunction with the Tile Light from Blindspot Gear, which I've also done a video review on, which you can check out. And what I found is that the Scorpions really augment the Tile Light. The Tile Light is a more traditional LED panel. It's a soft light. It's very good as a key light for pieces to camera and for interviews. And so combining the Tile Light with the Scorpions just gives you that many more options and more power in your lighting arsenal. Some other features of the light are the built-in barn doors. And the barn doors are easy to operate. They allow you to shape the light. So if you want to get very thin slivers of light, it allows you to do that with this. The other benefit of the barn doors is that they are magnetic and they include a set of small magnets which you can keep on the barn doors. And these allow you to gel the lights. Because of the size of the light, you only need very small gels. So a Roscoe Cine gel book would do perfectly for these. And actually you get a set of about five to 10 gels included with the package, which is really good to see as well. I found that from the lights, you get somewhere between an hour and 90 minutes at pretty much maximum brightness of a small Sony NPF battery. So they're very efficient. Obviously you can use larger ones for longer shoots, but 60 to 90 minutes is a pretty decent amount of time out of such a small battery. The lights themselves are all metal construction. The clamps are heavy duty, and you can tell that this is a quality made product that will definitely stand up to taking a knock, to being almost used and abused on set. I always take very good care of my gear, but I have been using it in fairly demanding scenarios for the last week or so, and the, the lights seem very robust. So. I don't think I would have any qualms of using them outside, using them in challenging filming environments. They seem very durable. So the Scorpions really are a flexible and versatile light. And it's pretty hard to think of a filming scenario where they wouldn't be of use or at least add production value to a shot. Because they are so flexible, they typically work really well in small or tight spaces or places where you typically couldn't get a traditional light and a lighting stand. I've been using them on corporates and interviews just to add a little bit of interest to the background and texture to shots. Another example is that you could use them for product shots because they are a directional and hard lighting source. They work very well as a top light. And for those product videos where you want reveals, they work very well for that. I think one of the things that I've learned about using the lights is that they're clearly a tool that has been designed by filmmakers for filmmakers. 
when you're on set and when you're working, especially if you're working with a small crew or you're a one man band, you need kit that works, works well and works quickly. And the Scorpions do that extremely well. The kit box that they come in is very well laid out. It's small, it's lightweight. Everything's where you need it to be. And then the lights themselves go together very quickly and are super easy to adjust. The fact that they have the flexible necks, the clamps that pretty much mount to anything, and then even down to the fact that they've included little magnets which you can leave on the lights on those barn doors, which allow you to gel the light in literally a matter of seconds. So for me, the proof of the pudding really is in the design and whether it works in a real world scenario or not and these certainly do that in spades. And so these lights really are only limited by your imagination and your creativity as a filmmaker. Hopefully this video has been useful. As always, if you have any questions, please drop them below. And thanks very much for watching.